Hello there and welcome back. Well, we've got a good hour ahead of us because we've got fabulous hour for you to stock up on the essentials and perfect for the time of year. Um, I'm working with a brand new, well, brand new guest to myself, but we've both been in the industry too many years to mention. <laughs> How are you doing, Claire? I'm fine, thank you very much. It's lovely to work with you. Oh, bless you. Well, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> but yeah, we are here. We are here, yeah. You had a show earlier on this morning. I did, um, with well. Paula. With Paula, yeah. And uh, we were just having a little chatter and obviously you've been in the industry pretty much the same length of time as I have so you know your craft stuff so it's fabulous that you're working alongside Pink Frog now and bringing that kind of all that expertise in. It's it's brilliant just to have such beautiful cards to work with yeah. whatever project I'm working on so yeah it. it's a real privilege. Now one of the other things that we have to tell you about right at the top of the hour is happy hour products and we've got them in this hour we've got a fabulous set of dies for you and these are phenomenal value for money you can see here you've got a set of three dies beautiful little butterflies two of those as you can see and that gorgeous heart die. Claire these are so pretty. They are adorable and they're brilliant for kind of uh, wedding cards already thinking again yes. towards yeah. kind of Valentine's but butterflies on absolutely everything birthday cards best wishes get well just about just about everything really I love it. really good size as well and of course hearts flowers we love those on our projects butterflies as well and the fact that you are getting those with a 10 pound saving is phenomenal now you can see the clock on your uh, screen there you only have 58 minutes to take advantage of that happy hour deal but please do make it uh, take advantage early on in the show because if stock goes beforehand then it is a case that we are going to miss out on these now i think we've got um oh is it in here for... oh i don't know a finished sample. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I'm making overcomplicating things. <laughs> so there you go. You can see that gorgeous heart with that intertwined flower coming through. Absolutely beautiful. It's a useful one to have. Like that idea as well, Claire, um, being used on the inside there. Yeah, so that just use it in a, in a pop out card as well. So. And you can see the detail there within that white cardstock that you've got there. So that is the die, the largest die, and it is a good size die. As you can see, that's an A5 size card, so really good size with regards to that one. Then what you've got is, oh, look at this. That is beautiful. You can see those different butterflies, a kaleidoscope of butterflies, I believe it is known as. Um, and you can see that you've got different stars. So you've got butterflies within butterflies with one of those because you can see the tiny little fall away butterflies in the white ones that you can see there. And of course, that gorgeous green card stuff I will be telling you about in just a few moments. But for the time being, if you want in your dies, the details there. 516-853, do take advantage of that one. But as I say, try and take advantage, or well, definitely take advantage before we get to the top of the hour because you're going to be paying a higher price. Something else I need to tell you about, my goodness, this is a brilliant deal. You have got a full litre here of your Carlyle glue. It's a multi-purpose glue, incredibly useful to have as your stash. Nice one to top up the smaller bottles from as well. And have a look at that. It's pretty much a half price saving on this one for this hour and this hour only. This is brilliant glue to work with, isn't it, Claire? It, it's it's great and it's perfect for construction because yes. when it when it sets it almost gives like an extra layer of support as well Good point. So. you have got your, um, your detail nozzle on there as well so if you are wanting to pour it into a smaller bottle because it, yeah well if you're doing little tiny pieces i wouldn't suggest you do it direct from the bottle there but of course it does mean that you can decant it very very easily into your smaller bottles so it's a nice one to keep um kind of back at home at base that you can top up from so there you go details for that one two two seven nine nine zero again that price for the hour now have you seen this stack of card that we've got for you as well now this is something that you need to take advantage of you are getting 160 sheets my goodness that is a lot that is a hefty wad of cardstock as you can see there 300 gsm so you can be able to use it in a whole host of different ways you're only paying 13 pounds and 98 pence for that now you will be paying four pounds and 95 pence post and packing so i would say just for the extra kind of pound or so become a freedom member because that means anything else that you're adding into your basket you're not having to pay additional post and packing for those now this is the kind of thing that you can do with that cardstock uh, and it's it is literally a multi-purpose card this one isn't it claire it's 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 a go-to um absolutely everything it's it's the card that i probably use more than anything else just because of the versatility of it 
this is it whether you're working with your inks um, you can see there many of us work with our oxides there whether you're using things like your, your sprays your spritzers your paints it's a perfect base and it's nice to have something that's got that super smooth finish to it because you're not going to see the tooth coming through but you can still use it with your watercolor paints if you're wanting to um, perfect one for die cutting my goodness i need longer arms <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing the texture paste how incredible does that look sitting on there um, your gilding waxes of course you can pop it through your embossing folders using it with your stencils multi-layering and of course some of the mediums that you've seen appearing on here are featuring a lot of moisture but the card doesn't struggle with that at all you can see that gorgeous um, effect there with the alcohol markers there those gorgeous bright vibrant colors there and of course going over um with them um, a little bit stamping at the end there as you can see another board Ooh, there we go um i'll have to do this with the other arm when we come back because i don't want to end up with them um, wonky muscles M muscles bigger on one arm than the other again here heat embossing die cutting embossing through your die cutting machine using them for the letterpress techniques that you can do construction as well we're looking at 300 gsm cardstock here so incredible and of course you can just doodle on it if you're wanting to and use it for all those wonderful um, techniques that we know and love that our fabulous guests bring to us so that will just give you a little idea of how you can work in with that works out at just nine pence per sheet and that's an a4 sheet of 300 gsm so if you've never tried this cardstock before do yourself a favour, get hold of the deal that you've got on your screen there. You will not look back. 617168. So those are your three happy hours for this hour, but they're not the only bargains that we've got in this hour because we've got lots more to share with you. So perhaps jump on the website, have a little look there. But let me tell you about this gorgeous green cardstock that we've got here. Now, we've got it in a couple of different sizes. Now, the size that we've got here, I believe this is a new size to us, 15 by 30 centimetres. It's, it's new in the green, so green oh, okay. is a fairly new colour for us. And um, we've done it in 12 by 12 and A4. Mm -hmm. But we've got so used to having it in those easy sizes for us to do that scoring with that we were like, no, we've got to have the green in that, that 15 by 30. And uh, when we get to it in a minute, the 21 by 30, because it just makes all those card folds so much easier. It does, because it's easy to divide up, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, rather than having those odd millimetres that you've got to cater for, here you don't have to worry. Um, now with this one, I mean, we've got loads of different styles of cards that have been created, um, all sorts of different ways. Obviously, things like your easel cards you could be creating if you're wanting to. And of course, elements that you're using with regards to those for the stoppers and things like that. This is a nice Nice idea um, because when you fold it it kind of goes into a square as you can see but then folding it back on itself like that one Claire yeah nice isn't it that one? a little bit die cutting again using the cardstock there um, it's 290 GSM so perfect for your card bases but also wonderful for you to obviously use with your die cutting machines as well um, and you'll have noticed some of the techniques that we were just touching on a few moments ago the super smooth working with these as well loads of different ideas with regards to how you're going to put these together so things like your tent fold cards as you can see there love that idea um they're very springy actually these ones i'm picking them up and i'm thinking i'm gonna have to put them back down again because my hands aren't that big <laughs> uh, again here nice little gatefold but again on those creases you don't have to worry because of course uh, um, it's green right the way through isn't it it's all, it, all through the core yeah all the way through the core and and just by having that green as a background as well it yeah. it, it it brings um an elegance and you know it just stops you having that that white fear a little bit yeah. as well and it saves you a little bit of time as well doesn't it because it means that you haven't got to do your matting and layering and but of course you can do it as you can see there to enhance the cardstock itself now i understand it comes with instructions as well for some it of these does. wonderful it folds comes with uh, 10 card folds um, so all the ones you're looking at there so um, whenever we either get a new um, size of card or a color of card the first thing I do is sit and make those 10 card folds and then from there I just decorate them up so it's such an easy way to to, to make a, a quick bank of cards love it and again here this one quite a bit has been cut away here because you can see obviously um, the the lines put in there for the stepper card but it's still got the support it's still able to hold that topper absolutely beautiful there with no kind of uh, uh, kind of feet on it you, you know like the, <laughs> the kind of the splayed out look that you get there's a certain little character that I don't know whether I'm allowed to mention or not so I'm not going to but you know the one I mean on a little bit of ice on a lake um, <laughs> 452 430 if you're wanting to get hold of this set you're going to get a hundred sheets in there 
uh, it's unscored, so you decide where the score lines go. But of course, you can just die cut into it if you want to use it in a whole host of different ways. But you know that you are investing wise money in 230 GSM cardstock with the colour going right the way through. So, of course, a perfect one for all those folds. Now, of course, if you like that colouring, but you're thinking, yeah, I like that, I like that idea, but I want to do things potentially on a larger scale. Well, we have got the larger size. Now, this is the one that is on par with your A4. So it's 21 um, centimetres wide, but it's 30 centimetres long. And again, it's, a little makes a difference, doesn't it? Because, of course, with a, um, an A4, you're looking at 29.7. So there's only three millimetres in it. But when you're scoring, that can make all the difference. It, it just means that it, it's easy. Yeah. It's nice, round measurements. Um, if I was working with A4, I'd have to cut a bit off to yeah, start with yeah. so i've got less wastage i've got nice round numbers that my matting and layering is easy as well it's much easier so, yeah, yeah that that three mil yeah huge makes difference. a difference it really really does um and again similar sort of idea you're going to get those fabulous folds um tuition come um, with your card pack again you can do all those ones that we spoke of before so things like your easel cards things like your stepper cards all of those looking absolutely incredible and of course do treat yourself to some of that super smooth because it is wonderful for you to use when you are doing your mats and layers and adding additional um, detail to the side stepper card as well they're using one of the little dies and don't forget those little butterfly dies we have got as your happy hour deal or one of your happy hour deals during this time they sit beautifully in the center there just pop those details up at the bottom of the screen just in case you have joined us it's one of your three happy hour deals for this hour and at 14.99 you're getting three beautiful um, dies the two that you can see here with the butterflies and a lovely heart die as well one Two, two, seven, two, three. though will get you the cardstock and it's certainly one to add into your stash it's got a gorgeous color to it and of course it is coming with that super smooth cardstock alongside it so a good bundle to go for one two two seven two three if you want in those now a nice combination that um, regularly work together <laughs> this one should have kind of like a, a subheading the Paula collection because of the red <laughs> and the black with this one um, and I love this the true red and the true black again 280 GSM I mean Claire perfect absolutely perfect just again you know good quality card good enough for construction uh you can die cut it it embosses beautifully and 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 just proper proper colors uh, it's just proper card <laughs> simple as that isn't it something that you want to know that you can pick up and use time and time again now with this one you can see many of the finished samples have got the super smooth with it but you're getting your black and your red in this one but of course the super smooth could come to you by way of the happy hour deal again and again here whether you die it i mean some of these elements are quite de delicate so when you're working with a heavier cardstock sometimes that can be a worry but not with this one no and it, it is the quality of the card um that that it it, cut, it does cut really mm -hmm. well and the other thing is is you get the same color week in week out That's a good point yeah um, so if you had um the uh true red from us before a lot of people have had it with the poppy stamp yes. where it's gone with it so they've had a little taster of it if you buy it again in this you'll find exactly the same color i'm just gonna pop those under me on that the way <laughs> so i've picked them up and some of them are twisted around but again i mean this shows you the detail those grasses there the little tiny flowers and the scripted font there as well i mean that's not an easy one to cut out uh, and to have it in a, a substantial cardstock so that is the key thing with this one isn't it to make some absolutely amazing cards if you're wanting to use it to create your flowers as well i've got a couple of examples there where you can die cut and mold and shape it yeah it holds shape really well beautiful as you can see there do like that red and black together look absolutely amazing of course add your inks if you're wanting to use um some of the super smooth and kind of knock the color back there again another nice idea a triple fold card there as you can see and then again we were talking about die cutting i mean here you go building up those designs i love this idea using the super smooth there and your side stepper look at that your little window there and tucked away inside you can see your bride and groom there absolutely beautiful and again the butterflies make another appearance and again don't forget they are your happy hour deal um, or one of them for this hour and there you go got very much kind of oriental look to this as well with the little flowers and the yeah. blossoms yeah with the blossoms Gorgeous. as well come through really well beautiful and of course as soon as christmas and new year are out of the way we'll be thinking about valentine's day cards won't we so there you go perhaps this is going to be the card stock um, that you'll be using to create yours so 989767 if you want in those 13 pounds and 99 pence now speciality card we have got so much choice with regards to these 
and these are amazing. Now you've got um, 12 sheets in total. You're going to get three repeats of four different styles. And these, these are going to make your eyes go a bit googly. And you'll know exactly what I mean when I show you this fabulous easel card that's been put together. Because it shows you the different card stocks that you've got within here. Now talk us through these, Claire. Um, so you've got the gloss satin on the top, which is the one that's the real that's oil amazing. on water. And that just shows you, I mean, just literally pulling that little leaf there, just tiny amount, shows you how that almost looks like it's got some um, fluorescent lights running through it, doesn't it? Next one that we've got, you've got that kind of satin look, almost like a taffeta. And, and it is, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the satin, so a little bit more subdued, mm -hmm. but you know very very elegant beautiful now oh look at that pillars of light yes of course <laughs> and again it does look like it's lit up doesn't it there those pillars and then working with it oh my goodness we've got like a firework night going yeah. on here and there you go the firework one wonderful and of course you are going to get all of those so you can use those in a whole host of different ways but i think that really shows them off um, to their full potential um, and they are amazing when you are using them whether you're using a little or a lot of them they really are going to stand out on your projects i mean there you can see it's almost like it's electrified that rainbow coming through there again the fireworks <laughs> absolutely amazing and then of course you've got that gorgeous almost like oil on water effect with this one and then finally you've got that fabulous classic satin effect there as you can see all four of those three repeats of each of them and i'm sure you will agree that is brilliant value for me when you're looking at 11.99 works out around a pound a sheet so definitely want to consider now before you check your basket out with the black we have got others for you. you've got gold we've got silver we've got the red and the green as well so i'm going to show you the gold one next as well i mean gold is such a classic style isn't it definitely and uh, we get the glitter one in yeah. this oh of course so, yes you do so, yeah, yeah we've, we've changed the them up a little bit so uh you've got the, that gorgeous the, glitter the satin gloss the glitter the the miri h which is really reflective and then the satin wonderful now the quantities on this one are a little bit different you're getting 16 sheets but you're going to get five of the glitter five of the miri h um three of the satin and three of the satin gloss. So yeah, you can see there your Miri H featuring um, on the, the details there. Again, full A4 sheets and again, incredible quality. A couple of other little pieces to show you with this, because of course, it's the quality, I think. I mean, look at that. That looks so beautiful. I mean, this Jujo here, it does look as if you've got satin there. It's kind of been uh, piled up on a piece of cardstock. Absolutely amazing. Of course, there you can see that glossy effect there. It's like a metallic cardstock, but with that gorgeous shard of light running through it. And then, of course, the glitter. And I love this glitter cardstock. It's perfect for your die cutting. Yeah, all of it die cuts beautifully, both in a manual machine, but also on an electronic die cutter as well. This well. Is it. I use these uh, on my silhouette and it cuts out beautifully. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And then again, you've got your um, traditional mirror card there as well. Yours will come without fingerprints. Um, £13.99 <laughs> if you want to get hold of this. Can I show you this fabulous little picture frame that's been put together? I'm guessing this is Hazel that's put this together. No, I've done that oh, one. Done this one? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's had me she's had me training in frame making. <laughs> I love it. It's very effective though, isn't it? And it shows you've got that construction there that will cope with that as well. Um, so there you go if you fancy creating your gorgeous frames it's like a luxury frame that one then the details are on your screen for your gold the silver similar sort of idea um, with this uh, similar configuration so you're going to get five, um, five of your silver um, glitter I've lost one somewhere there we go um, then you can get um, five of the mirror and then you're also going to get your three of your gorgeous um, what were we calling that one Something H, wasn't it? Mirror no, H. No, that one's satin gloss. Oh, is that satin gloss? Yeah. Oh, right, I will do apologise. Three of that one. And then, ooh, look at that. See, that's got like an icy white look to it. That's, I've used that a lot on wedding cards. Yes, um, yeah. And, and kind of Christmas cards as well. Beautiful. I know a lot of people are finished with Christmas. Some of us haven't started yet. Yeah, I must admit, I'm in the haven't started <laughs> club. But there you go. But I'm really quick when I do get started. Um, and again, brilliant one to take advantage of at £13.99. So I promise you other colours. Well, we've got your red and we've got your green. And these are similar sort of uh, configurations to the ones that we've just seen there. So again, we've got the little um, waterfall card here to show you all the different colours again with this one. So, um, oh, sorry, was it red you wanted to go first? Oh, swap. <laughs> 
Well, green's at the front. It was the logical way of doing it. <laughs> so there you go. You've got, again, all those fabulous cardstocks coming through there, as you can see there. Wonderful glitter, as you can see there. And I would certainly be considering teaming these up with some of those other colours. I mean, the, the green, the red and the gold together are going to be perfect for Christmas. Maybe the black and the silver together for a very contemporary look. But um, you can see there the effect that you're going to see when you are working with these. So that one is your green, um, £13.99. Again, A4 sheets with regards to those ones. And then the red. Oh, I don't know if I've got a waterfall card with the red. But I've got some of the little bits and pieces to share with you. And this is nice because it shows you the combination of the way that all the different card stocks come together. So here you've got, obviously, your super smooth featuring with this one that, of course, as I mentioned before, happy hour deal with regards to that one. A little bit of matting and layering using some of the mirror, as you can see there. And, of course, it's just perfect for your die cutting and all your different projects. And you don't have to just kind of use your, your mirror for doing that um, um, that. Uh, matting and laying have a look at that you've got that gorgeous satin effect and keep all the little bits that you cut away because even down the tiniest little pieces there you will be using and there you go the gorgeous glitter coming through on that one again um, do add in your super smooth with this deal and at 12.99 another fabulous deal so what else have I got? Oh, we've got red velvet I feel like I should be bursting into song for red velvet but I don't think that's how it went is it? what was it? I can't remember um, now with the satin finish I mean this is beautiful Love this. Very elegant look again. Um, can't go wrong with it, really. Um, if, if, you, if you want that luxury, but maybe not quite the bright shine, yes. the, the red velvet's a, a must-have. Certainly. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible. And it's always got that two-tone look. Kind of two-tone. You'll remember two-tone suits from the 80s. Might do. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the look that you got. From one twist, it was one colour, and from another twist, it was the other. Oh, it, that's brought back memories. It feels as though it should be kind of tactile as well. It yes. feels as though it should, should have that velvety feel to Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. It certainly should. And there you go, another fabulous deal, just 9 99 And you're getting all of those fabulous sheets coming to you there. You're going to get 10 of those um, at 610 625 if you're wanting those. Now, other goodies that you might want to pop into your basket, um, always worth checking out the Pink Frog um, tape. This is a brilliant value. Each one of these reels you've got 30 metres on. So overall, you've got 120 metres. So these are going to last longer than your average rolls that you're getting. So if you have got some of those smaller rolls, maybe just with 5 metres on there, then do consider consider that this is value for money. It also means that you've kind of got them all together <laughs> and you've only got four reels to lose rather than uh, lots of little ones. <laughs> so 825810, your four different widths as you can see with regards to that one. Your happy hour deals, you are loving your happy hour deals. Lots of you taking advantage of those. Your super smooth cardstock, lots of you stocking up on this one. Got a little shy of 40 minutes to take advantage of this price here. It will go up by eight pounds, so make sure you do stock up nice and early. 617168. Um, and of course, do check out those other um, fabulous deals as well. I'm going to go over to Claire for a little bit of a demonstration. So what are you going to do first? We're going to make this little box first. Oh, lovely. So um, I'm going to open it up, actually. Well, oh, this is perfect for this time of year. see it, but it's great for gift giving. So it's all made out of one piece, but the, the top actually pops open. Clever. So you can pop things in there. So, oh, OK. Uh, I like the look of this. So, uh, but yeah, we can make this out of one sheet of our 21 by 30 with just a little bit of scoring. Lovely. Scissors. So, so no trimming down to start with. No trimming down at size. all. So we're on the centimetre side and we're going at two. Five and a half, nine, and sixteen. And then we're going to turn that round. And again, we're going to go at two, at nine, and sixteen, and twenty three. Now, I know um, there are instructions for your card base. Is it, does that cover this box as this well? This one doesn't, okay. but what I'll do is I'll speak nicely to Andrew and see if I can put them on Pink Frog Facebook group. Perfect, thank you. So That's very that generous we can, of you, thank can, you. We can share those. I'm then just on this kind of middle line along here. I'm just going to mark halfway on each one of those, which I happen to know what those measurements are. Lovely. So... It's a little tiny mark. Yeah, and 26 and a half. So the only slightly kind of tricky bit is you do really need a knife and a ruler for the next okay. bit because we need to cut little triangles out. Right. So all we do is from one corner, 
just cut in. This is from the, the edge of the yeah. card into it, right? And then turn it. And I tend to go not too heavy mm -hmm. and just go over it a couple of times. And that should That's a good she says, tip. pop out. And we just need to do that on each one of those and so cut that them out. marking that you... you yeah. Know, so. Oh, I see. OK, yeah. So it's almost like making, if ever you've made kind of Christmas crackers where yes. they've got that kind of bit that pops out, it's a little bit like that. It's good because once you put your markings in, that's it. You just kind of you join just, in the Yeah, mark. you just steady away. And obviously, you know, at home you've got plenty of time and you can, can relax and do this. I've obviously missed a bit there. That's OK. Well, we are talking 290 GSM, so, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. might need to pass that knife over it a couple of times. Good thickness of this one. So, there we go. Wonderful. There we go. So, if I carried on doing that, then it's just another couple of snips to do. And I've got okay. one I've already cut out, because I'm Perfect. sure you don't want to watch me fight with a knife. <laughs> okay, so, after that, we do... We just make some little tabs on this end, so we'll go in there. So do you just do that by eye? You don't need to measure those? No, because you've already got the score marks okay. to, to, to take you there. And we take that bit out, because that's going to fold in on itself. And we cut that bit out. And I suppose what you could do is take these measurements and make yourself almost like a reference guide. And Which then you, is kind you go of what, yeah. what I've got. And then at the bottom, they're just straight slits into that bottom, bottom score line. So I'm going to get the one that I've already done. I mean, this is done apart from cutting the triangles out. So it's the three so triangles that you cut across it'll be the top. Four. Four. So oh, for the four corners, yes. If you watch very sense, carefully, yeah. and we take that one away and put that one there. Perfect. The magic of TV. There I you know go. it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see. There's your kind of four, because the, the bottom ones, you can do the bottom one with a pair of scissors, actually. Okay. So that is the basis okay. of your, your box. So that will fold together and make that. That's clever. So, but what we'll do is we'll decorate it a little bit first. So I'm going to okay. use my scotch tape just to, just to keep the bottom tidy, really, okay. and keep it Now, scotch tape's down. a really useful one to have in your stash at home. We don't regularly see it here at Achanda, but it is one of those ones that many of us use, and you'll see our guests using it. Um, a nice one because it's got a very low tack to it, so it is removable, so perfect if you're wanting to use it in your die-cutting situations, holding things in place. Nice one as well if you want to write on it as well, labelling up, I often use it for. Um, and, of course, you can use it for masking off certain areas because when you pull it away, it's not going to have a detrimental effect on what you've left behind. Getting too Two reels there, they come in little boxes as well, so whether you are using them straight away or you're storing them, then you have got a fabulous little box to keep them in, so it just kind of refreshes your memory when you do pull them out. And at 13 99 a very affordable way of getting hold of them, and as I say, it's kind of got that, it's almost like a, a semi-transparent um, tape that you've got. It's just, it's a nice one to work it, with, and I think once you work with it, you, you don't look back no, really. it's lovely to work with. It, it stays where it's supposed to. When it lifts off, it gives you very, very lovely straight lines mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Um, and nice doesn't kind of bleed under it yeah so with with this being green cardstock you're like oh can i stamp on it well mm -hmm. with oxides because they'll they'll of show course, up on the yes. dark color so we're just using one of our uh, pink frog stamps Lovely. i think this is from the versus um one that we've got uh, and they're on the they are on the website I but this is floral bit. this is great for just background building. Ah, okay. Oh, it turns out that it might be this set that we're bringing up on the screen for you. Um, so yeah, it's an A5 set, fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. You've got a couple of options with regards to that one, so it's worth checking those out. Perhaps have a little look on the website, and you'll be able to find the imagery for those. They're just, they're just so. It's a nice stamp. Oh, and this is form. there's. There's this one, and there's the same stamp, but bigger in the set oh, as well. And they're just, they're just kind of, they make a beautiful um, kind of central image, mm. but also they um, do great backgrounds as well. Actually, we found a picture. We've got a picture of them. Shall I show oh, you? Look at there, you there you go. Oh my goodness, you're getting a lot on there. Yeah, for you get your verses as well. Yeah. I like that. So that was your flower and your verses. So that's one of the options that you've got. Now, this is a pretty one. This is your daisy. You've got your little bumblebee in there. You've got your dragonfly. We always love those as well, don't we? Um, and uh, yeah, I like that. You make me smile. 
lovely. Next one that you've got as well is your gorgeous sunflowers as well. As you can see with this particular one, you've got different configuration of those flowers coming together. I love the way you've kind of got those um, swirls to one side and the other. Nice horizontal one there as well. Like those ones. And then you've also got your sunflower wishes. So, of course, some of these you might want to go for multiples of, which, of course, is always a bonus when you have got um, the same item number. So, uh, yeah, whichever of those you choose to go for, then you can pop them into your basket alongside all your other goodies. So we've created a background on there. So now we're going to use the pink just to make it pop a little bit. And I'm going to do one of these on each of my panels so that I've got one on each side. When You're so right, those oxides sit we so well on the green. They, they just pop. Yeah, beautiful. You know, and, and it's something that you wouldn't necessarily think about true. stamping on. I am going to give you a little top tip. Oh, OK, I like a tip. Because when we fold this together, this top bit comes over this way. So if you want to stamp on this bit, mm -hmm. you need to remember which way to stamp on it. That's a good idea. <laughs> how, how do you know that then, Claire? Because <laughs> uh, that one's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see if I just Sorry, take... Sorry, a bit cheeky It's there. fine. I'm going to take this tape off and you can see just what a clean line I've that. ended up with. That's, and can you reuse that tape then as well? Of course we can. So I've got to remember now. So that's going to be... That's the right way up. I, so I, this no just pressure. messes with my head. Oh, I'm just going to put you. leaves on it because that way it <laughs> doesn't. Choose something non-directional just to help you out just in case. Exactly. So I'm going to use the small leaf. And again, they're just great little little filler stamps, really. And we'll just pop and Again, that's these. from the same set again? It is. Oh, I think I've gone the right way this time. <laughs> I shouldn't be that excited by that, should I? <laughs> no, but I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it? The top tips often come from our own personal experiences. Uh, uh, so they do. No, they're thank also, you for sharing that. They're also one of those things that the more you think about it, the more complicated and it gets. And it's always tricky when you're on air because it's kind of you're trying to think and, and forward think what the next step is. So, yeah. There you um, go. Again, uh, I mean, the Christmas is, that you're going to get from this one is, is going to be incredible because, of course, that scotch tape. Proven be a popular one as well so if you do fancy getting hold of it make sure you're popping it into your basket checking your basket out nice and early and don't forget those stamps to go alongside it and i'm just putting a little dragonfly on as well which i think is actually out of a different set but i think one of the sets that yeah i think it's one of the options that we've got within yeah. that set but not exactly the same yeah. one as you started using it. so you can see again that's left that bit nice and clean look at that and we can still use that again absolutely spot on so now we can assemble this. OK, so the folds, um, whereabouts do we need to do, put the so, folds in place? So uh, basically, it's like almost like just like making a box. Oh, OK, yeah. So we're going to go around here. Mm -hmm. And apart from that top bit, it's going like to fold over. OK. So then we just bring it round. And I'm going to use the collal glue. I've got it in my... One of my little glue It's much bottles. easier to put it into there, isn't it? Do you know what? I have... My glue usage has gone down <laughs> so much. Because I used to get it... I used to get it everywhere. So this is great. Because this will just... So having control of where you yeah. put it. So it saves you waste, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's Definitely nice glue does. as well, because, of course, you can kind of rub it away, can't you, with this one as well? So yeah. So that one's just going to go in there. Obviously, at home, you like to let that set a little bit. Uh, little pegs I have all over the place. That's a good I'm tip, actually, yeah. So, you know, sometimes you get those, like, little little mini pegs that you might use in kind of mixed yes. media or on yeah. cards. Well, until you use them, you just use them to hold things down. Lovely. Um, and don't forget, with you, that Kalal glue that we were talking about, it's perfect for using it with your cardstock that we're talking about. Just be aware that sometimes with your coated cardstock, it can kind of sometimes react. So do a little test with regards to your coated card just to see if it's going to be OK. But if you're using it with your green or your red or your super smooth or the black that we've been looking at, then you won't have to have um, any concerns with regards to that one. You're getting a full litre, as you can see, for the next 26 and a half minutes or so. You're only paying £15.99. So it's a good one to stock up on. And as you saw um, from Claire there, you can discant it, put it into your own little bottle, and it makes it nice and easy for you to kind of control how much you're using each time. And then we're just going to tuck the bottom together. So 
again, just a bit of glue on there. And a bit of glue all the way over there. Imagine doing this with some of those gorgeous uh, uh, special effects cards um, stock that we've seen with the, oh, I love the, the different finishes. My little pegs come off there. I'm just going to peg it together for now. No problem. You've got but, one that you did earlier but on anyway. But basically, then that just pops down and folds down on itself. Clever. So it's just a lovely little, little clever little box, really, because it looks as though it's a box with a lid. It but does. then, do you want to bring in the one that you showed us at the top? There you go. There you should go. grab that one. That's very effective. So, and go. then all we've done is put a little ribbon round it and made a little, a little tag to go with I it, love using it. again one of our, one of our stamps, our little, little friend stamp. I love it. Um, and of course, the stamps that we've been chatting about, you'll find those on the website. Um, do check out. There's all sorts on there for you to have a little look. And the collar glue, of course, one of our happy hour deals. Keep an eye on the clock with regards to those happy hour deals, though, because you only have to the top of the next hour, and all of the prices are going to go up. We've got three different happy hour um, of this kind of products, including the super smooth. Lots of you taking advantage of this. I'm not surprised. I mean, 160 sheets. You can see that it's definitely one worth stocking up for. And don't forget, this is one of those ones where you are going to be able to use it in so many different techniques. I'm going to pick the boards up one by one. I learned my lesson last time. Um, so different techniques. So whether it's you're using your gesso, maybe you're laying down a base for a project. Well, of course, you can do that with this if you wanted to. Using your texture paste, then you don't have to worry because, of course, your texture paste has got moisture with it. Well, this cardstock will be able to cope with that without any issue at all. Gilding wax, of course, if you're using things like your embossing folders, you can go back in with your gilding wax your stencils building up those layers again if you can cope with your texture paste certainly going to be able to cope with all your different colors there whether you are stamping and water and coloring and uh, water coloring should i say with your pencils or whether you're using your pens your paints it doesn't really matter even your alcohol markers then you are going to get wonderful results and of course your stamping because you've got that super smooth you're getting going to get pristine stamp outs if you've ever struggled with the kind of results that you're getting perhaps try this cardstock because i'm sure you will find it's very effective for you getting those good results so when you start getting kind of messy with these using them for your inky mop-ups and different bits and pieces then it's good to know that that base is going to absorb all that color that you've used so whether you are going direct to the um, the paper um, with your water already on there or whether you're going to blend it with water afterwards use your oxides and there loads of different ways but isn't it effective for you to use these use them with your spritzers and your sprays think about things like your brush shows on here as well absolutely incredible results time and time again and it's nice to have a cardstock that you because when it's a white cardstock it's very difficult to look at it and kind of think oh yes I know what that cardstock will do I know that it's okay with my alcohol markers or I know it's okay with my water um, color pencils but if you get the wrong card for the technique well that can have a whole different effect um, but having a cardstock that you can go to that kind of ticks all the boxes then you know you can pick it up without having any concerns so there you go you can see there your heat embossing your die cutting your embossing your letterpress your construction cardstock there doodling all those different techniques um, you can do with this cardstock and at 13 pounds and 98 pence definitely want to add in your basket works out just nine pence per sheet and that's per a4 sheet so if you're making your smaller card bases then you can imagine just how far it's going to go 617168 if you're wanting to get hold of those um, very busy with that glue again so yes your full liter coming to you for that happy hour price this is the hour to take advantage um, of it and you can see the details there and you can also see those fabulous dies that we've got those are our three happy hour deals for you there all on your screen together as well so uh, yeah if you fancy getting hold of the dies alongside then you're going to be saving on those as well your two butterflies and your gorgeous heart with your floral content there Third, um, 14 pounds and 99 pence in a little over 20 minutes though um, those are going to go up in price we don't have the luxury of 22 minutes on this uh, the show because we've only got probably about 17 minutes or so left if I'm doing my maths right. So, uh, yeah, we've got more demonstrations coming up there, so don't worry. But I do need to give you a little bit of recap on some of these because, of course, we're looking at the brand new kind of size of your green cardstock with this one. So this one, you're looking at 30 centimetres by 15 centimetres. So it's a nice, easy one for you when you come to do your folds because you haven't got to kind of think about the, the point something of a centimetre. With these, they're already cut, so you can simply score and fold them wherever you need to. You can get 100 sheets of these incredible bases because they're 200 
90 GSM. And we are going to see these in action um, during the demonstration coming up in a little while with Claire. So loads of different ways you can use it, your different folds, whether it's your apertures, whether it's your frames you're creating with these. But in the solid knowledge that you've got a cardstock, it's going to be able to keep those crisp folds together and make sure that you are creating a card of quality or a project that's got quality um, base to it. So there you go, £18.99 um, at 451430. Now another size that we've got for you, which you will look at and you'll automatically start thinking, well, that um, A4, it's actually slightly larger than your A4, but of course it's got the um, thought gone into the actual dimensions of this one, meaning it's nice and easy again to do your score and folding and your die cutting techniques with these. So 21 pounds and 21 pounds, no, try again, 21 centimetres by 30 centimetres. You're only paying 9.99 for this and you're getting 25 sheets. Of course, you can chop it up if you're wanting to, make it into your A5s, your A6s, it's entirely up to you. But of course, having 25 of those sheets you've got there, you can see um, you can quite easily take advantage. One, two, two, seven, two, three. Beautiful. Gorgeous, love those. Other colour combinations with regards to these. Now, of course, the ones that we've just been looking at there with the A4, you have got your super smooth. With this particular bundle, you've got two colours of that card stock. So you've got your true red and your true black with these. Again, same dimensions we were talking about, 21 centimetres by 30. And you've got 25 sheets of each. So getting 50 sheets for 13.99, that is an amazing deal. Now, again, this one is one that's worth stocking up on. And of course, red card stock, we love that coming. I mean, whether you're thinking Christmas cards, whether you're thinking um, Valentine's cards in the new year, but the black cardstock, that true black, is one that you will go to time and time again. So again, if you fancy that one, 989767, um, seven, and again, use it for all your different crafting opportunities. Now, if you fancy adding a little bit of luxury, a bit of a kind of a pizzazz to your project, then these cardstocks are the perfect ones for you to look at. Now, we've got your black and your gold, which I'm going to take you through, but there's lots of others that you can check out on the website. And these are beautiful because you've got special effects with these cards. Now, with the black, you are going to get three each of these fabulous um, sheets that you can see here. So you can see there you've got that gorgeous kind of satin fabric look with this particular one. You can get three sheets of that one. The Pillars of Light, I'm sure you'll have uh, come across the Pillars of Light cardstock with those gorgeous shards of a rainbow effect going through there. Love this one. I mean, look at that. It is literally like fireworks going off at night time. Amazing. And then the final one that you've got in there, as you can see there with those gorgeous, it's almost like an oil on water bringing that rainbow in again. So again, all of those, you're going to get three sheets of each of those, giving you 12 in total for just shy of £12 at 11 pounds 601404 Now, the other combinations that we've got in different colourways um, are kind of made up slightly different. So let me explain this one to you with the gold that we've got. So what you're going to get within these bundles is um, your mirror card, which you can get five sheets of these. And again, it's always a favourite, isn't it? So you've got your mirror card, five repeats of that one. You're also going to get five repeats of your non-shed glitter. So whichever colour option you're choosing to go for. And we've got loads of different item numbers with different colour groupings. Then, of course, you're going to get three sheets of that fabulous oil on water one there. I think that one's your mirror H. Oh, is that your satin gloss? I'll get it right one of the days, won't I? Um, and that's your mirror H. Oh, that's your mirror H. I thought it was because it looked like little H's on there at one point, but there you go. You're getting all four of those, really. But you just need to know that they're lovely. Doesn't matter what they're called, really, does it? Um, 619 681. And as I said, there's four different ways you can get hold of this. You've got your gold, your silver, your gorgeous green, your fabulous red. And don't forget, do check out the red velvet card as well. So if you want to get more repeats of the same cardstock, then you can. Um, and do check out those reviews as well. It's always worth having a little look to see what like minded crafters are thinking. Good opportunity to stock up on some of those staples, like your scotch tape there as well. Don't forget your red liner tape. And if you do want your glossy accents, that is a good deal. Two bottles for 30. $13.99 and of course all those wonderful um, stamps that we saw um, being used by the lovely Claire you can get hold of those as well so yeah it's all on the website there including your freedom membership you kind of need it really when you're shopping for all those goodies don't you <laughs> it's just nice to be able to top up whenever you want to exactly. as well so, yeah. it. so what are we up to this time then Claire uh, we're going to make a card and I've realized you've got that card down the other side of the, the counter which card is this sorry it's the black and red one with the silver oh so it's a finished it. card let me go and get that I'll be back in just a tick. There you go. Sorry, I thought you meant you wanted the card. So I was going to say I can't no. do that, but yeah, no. I can. I can do this. <laughs> so I, I can hold use the the black and the red, but then mix it up a little bit with some of the speciality cards. Wonderful. Look forward to this. So first of all, straightforward fold, nice half fold. So because it's our fifteen by thirty, straight in at fifteen, 
and you can see you get a beautiful half fold. So no messing about, no cutting, no measuring, just straight in. Stay. Excellent. Then what we're going to do is we're going to die cut um, our heart. Okay. So uh, we'll pop that through the machine. Lovely. Um, and of course, you're getting your three dies in this set. I've got the dies. Just, shall I bring them in and show you those dies just well? The, the die, you could have probably, uh, Holly could have got the camera there just as well. I just like to have a little bit of a stretch every now and again. Um, so here you've got your three dies. Um, they're not going to come on your magnetic sheet, but it's a perfect way for you to store these if you've got those already. Your two little butterflies, one of which you can see you've kind of got your fall away butterflies within the wings. And of course, the large heart that um, Claire's using also comes in this set and you're saving £10 on this £14.99 I think you'll agree it's a really good value bundle that one very usable as well so 516 853 if you're wanting to get hold of those nice dye that one it's it's very really pretty. beautiful so I'm just gonna pop that out of there and it'll come out quite easily well I love that sound when it kind of releases <laughs> it and, does so that shows the quality of the cardstock when you pulled it out from that die and nothing's torn yeah, yeah. and even though it's got this tiny little leaf yes. I, it, I, I'm, I'm quite rough with it <laughs> what I want to do is because I wanted it to stand up a bit from the card yeah. but to try and put foam pads or even for me kind of the kind of glue jelly mm -hmm. stuff and um, it tends to get a bit messy for me so instead what I'm going to do is I've die cut it several times oh, okay, yes. and stuck them together so all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more like a, a chipboard oh, that's a good technique um kind of you know so so if you piece. yeah so if you've got kind of little scrolls or or corners and things that you want to use in your in your mixed media but you feel that they're a little little flimsy a mm -hmm. little bit like haven't got enough oomph just layer them together that's a good technique and are you using the collal glue i am this using well? the yeah. collal glue because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room to you know because obviously this is got a few few bits to line up and this will just line up and then all of a sudden you've got a lovely chunky like a, yeah it's like a chipboard it element, is it's, there, yeah. it's brilliant so you know at that point if you wanted to you could use all your mediums on it lovely uh, and of course uh, don't forget you've got that litre size bottle so do decant it into a smaller bottle as you go and one of the other things i wasn't sure whether would work or not okay is i was like because this is non-shed glitter mm. can i emboss it oh okay right so i was like well give it a go yeah so i'd put a strip off to do some matting and layering anyway mm. so i'd got this this little tiny piece so i thought i know we'll give it we'll, a go we'll give it a go i'm just make sure i get the right just way just to up. give you a little bit of a time check we've got about um, eight and a half minutes left claire Fab. it's a long way to go through for a tiny <laughs> scrap of paper <laughs> but it's useful to, to know that I mean, this is the thing that I love when we have our crafting experts come in. They, they're doing all these kind of test things for us. So we just find out at the end result whether it works or not. And uh, I'm guessing that this will have worked. This will have worked, but you can see it. But to make you see it just a little tiny bit more, I'm just going to throw some black stays on over the top to bring oh, out that detail. That. So there you go. Oh, that's effective. So it's that just another good. way to kind of use your, your glitter card. That is clever because it almost looks like it's a letterpress technique without actually putting your stays on into your embossing yeah. folder. So, yeah, yeah, very So clever. especially with it being the glitter card, you want some yeah. kind of, you know, a permanent ink on it. Um, Lovely let's red liner tape coming in. Um, one of those essentials. And again, you've got your four different widths with regards to this one. I've not cut it long enough, that's about right. <laughs> uh, so we'll just layer this together now. So I've got a strip of the um, the satin. Oh, nice. And so it's nice because it's, it's almost got like a snowy white look to it, this one. Yeah, and then we'll go for a bit more red liner tape on the back of there. Oh, look, there's already some there, like magic. <laughs> Don't you love it when that happens? That'd be good if it just happened all the time. Oh, yes. The red, the red tape fairy suddenly kind of 
comes when you're not looking. And so it your I <laughs> have already die cut. Congratulations! And again, like you said, that's quite an intricate font. Mm, yeah. But again, it's die cut out of the black. No problem. We'll pop that on there and trim that off. And you know the matte, matte and layers are just really easy to do. That'll just take the static off. And this is it. And of course, it's, it's something that. You, you're fine with the cardstock because it's been cut to um, a convenient size more so than the kind of print or mill size then you don't have to worry about trimming away because of course if it's all already been trimmed or in this occasion it's actually made a little bit larger than it would do normally you've got the dimensions there so usually with your A4 you, you probably well you're almost chopping two centimeters off really to round it up yeah. right, to get it to 28 centimeters and, and even and that's then, a harder number to work yeah, with that's it yeah so nice round numbers I've got ink everywhere all over me which is good <laughs> But there you go. So we've got that matted onto the silver uh, non-shed glitter. Then it's onto the satin. Then it's onto the red. And we're just going to pop that onto our card front. So we'll just Fabulous. pop a little bit of tape. We could go, actually. This will be quicker. Now, don't forget, Claire was here early on. What, what time was your show this morning? 10 o'clock this 10 morning. So, uh, yeah. Of course, other ideas, other tips, other techniques um, were featured in that hour. Um, and, of course, the card stock that you're going for, if you are going for um, your, red, um, your green or you are going for your red and black, you will actually get your card-based tuition with those as well. So you will get that inspiration sheet for your 10 different types of card folds. Do check out Pink Frog um, Facebook group as well because, of course, we're hoping that Claire will be able to get the details up for that fabulous gift box she made earlier as well. So there you go, uh, and we've just used the collal to stick that on, and again we'll use the collal to stick and this on. Of course, happy ideas, yeah. I'm just glancing at the clock, you've only got 10 minutes left to take advantage of these now, and it could be quite a costly 10 minutes if you leave it and you find that you're paying an extra £14, so yeah, do get involved as soon as you can. Um, yeah, don't, don't leave it till after the show, because if you're anything like me, something will happen, you'll think, right, I'll leave it till we're finished. And then the doorbell will go, or the phone will go, and you say, oh, I'll just get myself a cuppa before I come back for Sue's show. And then you suddenly realise that it's gone past <laughs> three o'clock and you, it's gone up in price. So, yeah, do make sure you get hold of it as soon as you can. And then to finish it off, we've just die-cut some little tiny, tiny, tiny flowers. And again, we've cut these out of the, um, the satin. So that kind of, that whitey coloured one. Little tiny bits that you have got left over almost, really. Yeah. Making something out of your scraps. And who doesn't love that? So oh, there yes. you go. So you can put as many of these on as you want. So pretty. There we go. There. There you go. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Do it stood up? I thoroughly enjoyed that. Now, the top tip for me was the stays on on the, the embossed. Yeah, yeah it's, just a, amazing. it's just a really interesting technique. And again, yeah. it just gives you some somewhere else to go with your speciality card stock just. as well. Claire, thank you for sharing That's that with us. Right. Loved Pleasure. It. Um, and there you go. So, uh, yeah, using all the fabulous products we're sharing with you in this hour, the ones that you need to be most urgent for, though, are those happy hour deals, including the super smooth card stock. Works out at just nine pence per sheet. You've got, just got eight minutes, as you can see from the clock there, to take advantage of these. We're going to be with you for the next three, but if you're wanting to take advantage of this card, it's one of those go-tos. So with regards to this, whether you're stamping, whether you're using it with your brushes, whether you're using it with your, your techniques, with your water brush pens, with your watercolour pencils, your alcohol markers, it's your go-to card stock. It's one of those ones that the answer is always yes when you say, can I use it for? And the answer is yes, pretty much every single time. And you can see there for £13.98, you are getting 160 sheets, 300 GSM as well. Um, brilliant one to add into your basket. Of course, the glue, we saw the glue being used throughout. Again, do consider getting yourself some smaller bottles. I'm sure if you jump onto the website, you will find some of those fine detail bottles if you're wanting them, um, just as we saw um, Claire working with her. Um, and yeah, again, £15.99, it's a go-to glue. 
going to be able to use it in so many different scenarios. So 227-990 for those. The dies as well, we saw those being used in the last demonstration, and didn't they look gorgeous? That fabulous heart, really pretty design, and a good size die as well. So uh, yeah, with the butterflies again, another wonderful way for you to work with those. You've got your two butterflies, and of course you have got that fabulous heart die. And again, another example of how you can work with that one. And of course, being a happy hour deal, the fact that you're going to be able to create with it at that brilliant deal price makes it even more an attractive proposition, doesn't it, there? And of course, you've got the little heart there. Well, it's not a little heart, really, but the butterflies. And I think it's the butterflies that are just so, so sweet with your two different stars, including the ones with the little fall away butterflies in there as well. Of course, that green card stock, you can add that into your basket alongside your happy hour deals. But just make sure if you are going for your happy hour deals that you're doing it in the next few minutes. Website is the place to shop because you can add everything into your basket. So there's anything that you've just joined us and you've not seen. Now is the time to have a little peruse on the website, especially if you want to take advantage of the happy hour deals as well. But make sure you are checking out your baskets timely to take advantage of those. That is the key thing. And do check out some of that fabulous um, kind of premium cardstock. Very effective. I did think that was brilliant, the different techniques that you've got with those as well. But can I grab the black one to show you? Because I think something, I think the black one's my favourite, to be honest, because I think that one with the, the kind of firework effect, it just little, shows. I think there's a little handbag made with it somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't where think. It's gone. No, oh, it might have been on the earlier show. I think we might have seen that one. There but you go. you've got obviously your pillars of light featuring that one as well. And of course, you've got all those fabulous effects there. But you can get three sheets of each of those. But check out the other bundles to see the combinations with those. Claire, do we know when you're back again with us? Um, Hazel is back next week. I want to say the 12th. So okay. yeah, Hazel's back then. So Lovely. tune in because she's got an amazing show for you. Fabulous. And I'm sure we'll see you again soon as well. It's been a sure. pleasure working with you. Claire. And with you. It's been an absolute joy. <laughs> loads of fun. Um, but do make sure you keep a note on the um, schedule. Keep an eye on it, should I say, for our lovely Hazel. I'll see you a little bit later on as well.